Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Only Bio. Presenting up the important points from the chapter Respiration in Plants and Animals which is a part of physiology and uh, we are going to be definitely doing it in depth. So please do check the playlist for the other videos as well and for the other chapters as well. Friends, the terms or the points discussed here are derived from MCQs that have appeared in the various national or state level competitive exams. So questions are formed from these terms or points either in similar or modified forms. These are beneficial as they will help you to master the important topics in a limited span of time, frame expected questions, do effective revision and make your own synopsis. Friends, the more MCQs you solve, the better you understand and you get confident. So a daily practice of few minutes with me on my channel on any chapter it might be can certainly help you to master the topics. So here I am starting up with the points, important points from respiration from 1 to 20. Point number 1. The chemical energy released by the oxidation of organic molecules that is carbohydrates, fats and proteins is made available to the living cells in the form of ATP. This process of liberating energy is known as respiration. Next, Krebs cycle is also known as tricarboxylic acid cycle or citric acid cycle because of the three carbon acid it contains. The acids exist as salts in the cell so their names end with A-T-E. Sir Hans Krebs received Nobel Prize for this in 1953. Next, in Krebs cycle, the conversion of succinic acid, which is a 4-carbon compound, to fumaric acid, which is a 3-carbon compound, is the only dehydrogenation in the cycle, which involves the direct transfer of the hydrogen from the substrate to FAD without the participation of NAD+. The enzyme succinate dehydrogenase responsible for this step is the only enzyme of Krebs cycle which occurs in the inner membrane of mitochondrial wall instead of matrix. Point number 4. During Krebs cycle, the regenerated oxalocytic acid reacts with another coenzyme A and the whole Krebs cycle is repeated. So, the oxaloacetic acid, it acts as the acceptor molecule while the substrate entrant of Krebs cycle is acetyl coenzyme A. Next, the net products from the two pyruvate are 6 NADH, 2 FADH2 and 2 ATP which is equivalent to 30 ATPs or 15 per pyruvic acid or in Krebs cycle it is 24 ATP or 12 per acetyl coenzyme A. The easy way to remember Krebs cycle is by remembering a line that is can intelligent old Karishma solve some foreign mafia operations wherein C stands for citric acid, I stands for isocitric acid, O stands for oxalosuccinic acid, K stands for alpha ketoglutaric acid, S for succinyl coenzyme A, S for succinic acid, F for fumaric acid, M for malic acid and O once again for oxalocytic acid. Point number 7. The number of ATP molecules produced by electron transport system from Krebs cycle intermediates in a single term is 11. Point number 8. The cofactors required for formation of acetyl coenzyme A are TPP, lipoic acid, magnesium ions and coenzyme A. Next, NAD of Krebs cycle functions as acceptor of hydrogen ions and electrons. Point number 10, the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme A is oxidative decarboxylation. Next, acetyl coenzyme A acts as a link between glycolysis, Krebs cycle and beta oxidation of fatty acid or carbohydrate and fat metabolism. Next, Tricarboxylic acids of Krebs cycle are citric acid, isocitric acid and oxalosuccinic acid. Point number 13. Pyruvate dehydrogenase is a complex enzyme system of mitochondria functional outside the Krebs cycle. Next, 
The largest amount of phosphate bond energy is produced in the process of respiration during Krebs cycle. Next, the enzyme aconitase of Krebs cycle is required to convert citrate to isocitrate. Next, in Krebs cycle, FADH2 is formed during the conversion of succinate to fumarate. Next, number of ATP molecules synthesized through substrate level phosphorylation during aerobic respiration of one glucose molecule is 6. Point number 18. A single turn of Krebs cycle yields 1 FADH2, 3 NADH and 1 ATP. Next, in respiration, the energy which is not converted into ATP is converted into heat. Point number 20. 1 gram mole of glucose on complete oxidation to carbon dioxide and water produces about 6,86,000 calories. Friends, I am sure you will like it and I hope you will subscribe for the channel and keep studying with me. Thank you.